What are some of the best compliments you hear from some of the guests coming? I mean, I know Disneyland and, you know, that sort of stuff, but I don't know, like from the barbecue, like when they eat it, like what are the, there has to be old school barbecue eaters coming here, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're the ones that judd, right? Like they've been eating barbecue their whole life. What are they telling you that separates your barbecue? Like, why are they telling you yours is the best? Mainly they say it's the most like moist, tender, flavorful, um, brisket they've ever the like, fucking yeah. trifecta right yeah. there right the trifecta and then, wow and in the pork ribs they say the same thing too and a lot of people like i love our pork ribs um because it's just it's just pork ribs glazed and like a, just some sugar syrup thing it's like real light um it's not ha- it's not like a thick syrup like yeah. uh so it's not like sticky or anything yeah yeah uh, it's just real light glaze on there and it's just like sugar um some spices and whatnot and um, it's nice and red, and, yeah. and people love that. And it's like it's not fall off the bone. It's fall off the bone, but it doesn't like. It has some like. What is it? You don't want it to like completely fall. Sure. Off stands up. Like, you sure. Don't to have some like. Gold. Yeah. Um, and so people love that, and it's just they just love it. And our turkey is a sleeper. Our turkey, most people, or most time, most of the time when you have turkey, it's like dry, like turkey breast. Hundred percent. Right. Ours is super moist. Fuck. And like flavorful uh, and smoky, and like just salt and pepper. Wow. And um, people love the turkey. Holy I shit. I think that's one of my. It's probably like my favorite. Wow. Meat here. Bam. To be honest, just because like, well, one is easy. It's easier to get because I can't really eat brisket because it's gone by the time <laughs> totally, I totally yeah. Um, <laughs> Same for pork ribs too. Sure. There are sometimes where you can, but yeah. Uh, but turkey is always one of the last ones that go because that's a sleeper. Yeah. But it's so good, especially oh, yeah. if you turn it into like a turkey sandwich. Sure. With oh, like our coleslaw yeah. and our. Um, yeah. What are the pickles. sides y'all do? Oh, so we do grits, cheesy grits, coleslaw, uh, potato salad, <sighs> pencil beans, and yeah. pork hash. Pork hash. Pork hash is a Carolina uh, dish. And it's like a pork gravy over rice. So what we do Ooh, is, so in Carolina they get good. their whole hog trimmings, yep. um, or leftovers, and like braise the meat down into like a gravy and add like mustard and stuff. We do the same thing, but with our pork trimmings, Fuck, our pork rib trimmings. Idea. So yeah, um, you try to utilize everything. Yeah, I do, mean that's yeah. essentially what you're trying to do, right? And like, our sausages we make in house too, and we make our sausages from our beef, beef scraps. Yeah, because so we smart, there's because yeah. we trim a lot. Yeah. And there's a lot of like that could go to waste, but we turn it into sauce. So we do like 280 pounds of sausage a week. So Shit. yeah, and it's I know we do 60 pounds of or 40 pounds of uh, slaw sausage alone um, for Saturday. So yeah, we do a lot, a lot, a lot of sausages. Yeah, and that's a lot of like brisket scraps to go to waste if we didn't make our own sausage. So we utilize totally repurpose that into sausage and um also sometimes we do we did a lao beef jerky and so we would use those scraps and just oh make God. beef jerky out of it and it's like a s- sweet glaze it's not it's a little bit sweet but savory and herby and uh you just eat it with like sticky rice and like some sauce Dude. yeah it's good this is amazing bro this is- 